ask something. I mean, obviously, like me, I'm sure when you get home, the first thing you do is you just sit around waiting for our show to come on so you can watch it, right? Yeah, I just sit down at the piano, turn on the TV. Watch the tube. And right? watch. Now, here's the thing, is that this last time was one of the rare times that I, I, did, I did not just watch our show. I also watched our dear friend Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, yeah. And uh, I just want to say to anybody out there is that if you haven't seen uh, Jimmy's uh, monologue last night about his child who was born with a uh, heart defect and they had to have surgery and the first surgery has been successful and thankfully his son Billy is home with him and his wife. Um, uh, please go watch it. It's, it's a absolutely uh, a beautiful, heartfelt uh, story and uh, it, it's a call for all people to have access to the same quality health care because uh, it is a basic human need and an aspect of our dignity as citizens of the United States. And um, it was beautiful. You're a beautiful man. I'm so glad that Billy is, is at home and resting with his mom. And uh, anyway, check it out, you guys. Um, also, next week, I hope you'll check out one week from tonight. We've got a very special show because uh, I'm coming up on my 20th anniversary of having started on The Daily Show. Ooh. But we're not done. Um, 20 years. Work. I, don't, I don't look it. Uh, I think it was like June 2nd of 1997. I remember, I remember that it was the wow. first day. But well, we're not doing the show that week. So next week, a week from today, uh, a bunch of my old buddies from The Daily Show are going to be on here. And uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, reminisce. We're going to talk. We're going to have fun. We're going to do some comedy about uh, all those great times we had together. And so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they're really talented. Now, uh, speaking of incredibly talented, my first guest is the incredibly talented comedian behind Trainwreck and Inside Amy Schumer. She now stars in Snatched. Do you want to do something tonight? Like, something crazy? Or, like, can we do something amazing? Yeah. I'm sure we can rustle up some adventure tonight. Yes. Yeah. Welcome, Amy Schumer. Oh, yeah. Nobody about, liked him. Nobody about liked that, him. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Hey, listen. Hi. Uh, this is the second time we've seen each other in about 24 hours. Thank God. We saw, we saw each other last night at the fabulous Met Gala. You were the belle of the ball. Was I? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. but you I got loved best dress. I loved... No, you were... But look at this thing. Wow. This is what you were wearing last night. What an... <laughs> Amy, who, who are we wearing in this photograph? Uh, we are wearing Zach Posen. We love Zach. Yes. We love Zach here at I The Late him. Show. Truly. I saw this on you last night. You actually let me touch it. I know. Because is it, it <laughs> may, you actually, I think you insisted I that I touch have, it. I may have, I may have threatened you to touch it, yeah. Uh, it look, it's like, it's like leather and armor at the same time. It has I scales. I don't know, dude. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, homegirl was sweating. <laughs> Why can't we be comfortable with that thing? I it's get like it. It's like one of the it's things the that you wear if you're trying to make weight for the wrestling right. team. <laughs> just spitting into a cup all day before you weigh in. Um, I mean, that's what they do to actresses. Yeah. Oh, I suppose <laughs> Your so. Your weigh in is, I mean, not me. But. Well, the amazing thing about, that's the fanciest thing you go to, right? Because, like, everybody is in the fanciest dress What's possible. It's fancier than it's that. It's a fancy location. Yeah. They close the bar so early, though. I know. You What's can't that even about? Get a buzz on. I know. I had to go home early and black out on my own. <laughs> Got to take care of your sister doing Sorry. it for herself. Anna. Exactly. Um, uh, now you were also speaking of uh, style. Yes. Uh, a lot, this is all show and tell here tonight. Uh, you're also on the cover of In Style, right wow. there. Wow. Hey. 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 Why are the pages stuck together? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the perfume samples. 
perfume it's the samples. perfume samples. Okay. They, uh, they, okay. uh, they bleed. They bleed. Yeah. Now, uh, now you said, you said, I think you absolutely look beautiful on this cover. You said you've received some backlash in the past when it comes to swimsuit photos. Oh, no. What's the deal? <laughs> But to swim, no, it wasn't really, um, you know, you know. I don't you know, know what, I know. I, um, it, just trying to put some asses in the seats. Okay, right sure, guys, tune in, mm -hmm. tune in. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, in, in every interview I've been doing, like most of them for, to yeah. promote Snatch, they, yeah. they kind of, the journalists will just be like, so your body, like, what's the plan? You know, like, I'm serious. What do you mean? I mean, they talk about it. I'm like, look, I'm in a bathing suit in this movie. There's like nudity. I'm like, I, I feel good about my body. I think other people need to work on how they feel, like, I'm like, I'm good, but they talk to me like I need to be buttered to fit through a door. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I can walk right through a door. Is that in the movie? Because that's, oh, no. that's in the movie. <laughs> as, as, as someone who's like a bit of a fashionista now, do you get, no, you are. What? Okay. You are, you're on the cover of, you know, Style Magazine. they I'm slap not. me into, but I'm very Do grateful. you get free stuff? Like, do you get people send you stuff like, please wear this thing and, and, and we'd be happy because people would see you on it. Totally. And I was not, I didn't have any money growing up, so I'm like still really grateful to get free stuff. So I got, um, this past winter, uh, Canada Goose gave me a coat. Oh, those are great. And uh, yeah, super warm. And uh, I was psyched because it was like my favorite. It was like free. I was like, mm. uh -huh. <laughs> free. And so uh, I wore it. I got photographed in it because the paparazzi love this. And uh, <laughs> I'm like, what do you want? This is what you're going to do. So um, anyway, I was doing an event to promote my book, and these picketers came in. And they're just like really yelly. And I was like, well, let's communicate. But they don't want to do that. you know? Yeah. And, like, and, uh, and it was like pictures of me in the coat. And they were like about. They were like, Canada Goose is murder. And I was like, oh, I didn't even. Canada maybe Goose I, is murder? Is murder. I was like, I should They don't kill the geese? But they were like, no. What they do is, to make the hoods, they, uh, they kill coyotes. And I was like, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I was like, oh my god. If I made a list of the animals I care about more than coyotes, <laughs> it would be a list of every animal. I don't care. You know? I was They'll like, I don't dog. care. They'll come for your dog, the coyotes. I know, yeah, yeah you are. Okay, yeah. But whatever, I was like, you can't make somebody care about coyotes if they just don't. Mm -hmm. But I... The Roadrunner doesn't. I know, the Roadrunner no, would be psyched. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. But I, so I was like, I, I promised, I was like, PETA, I, like, I promised I would never wear fur again, visibly. <laughs> now, at all times, I'm wearing tortured ostrich underwear, and I want you all to know that. You can't see it. I got a mental image, got a mental image. I torture mm -hmm. them in my apartment. <laughs> Well, I want to hear more about that, obviously. <laughs> but we'll be right back with more Amy Schumer. Stick around.